Hey guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be talking about Instagram.com which of course is a website with content made by people um, for people. It, it's just water. I swear. There's just water in here. There's not... Look. Look at that. Look. See? Look. Dang. Are you happy? Are you got... Are you happy now? Now all the cool kids are gonna think I peed my pants. The other day I was browsing Instagram, as one does, and I was on the Explore page for a bit. I did like a couple posts by this one Office page, you know, the TV show The Office. It was a page that's dedicated to, like, office memes and jokes, and I was like, oh, that's, that's pretty funny, I'll give it a little double tap. And ever since then, my top two posts in the Explore page have always been about the office it's always from like the same couple of pages which i guess is fine but i was looking through some of their pages and i noticed a trend something that's a bit weird so come along with me as i talk about some of the best instagram office fan pages oh, yeah. First account is called Friends at the Office. It is a fan page for both the show Friends and the show The Office. I don't know why I needed to say that. You know what a sh you know what a TV show is. Why am I over explaining it? Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this wonderful account with nearly 7,000 followers. So the first post is about The Office. So let's take a look. It's a screenshot in which Pam has the word Jewish on her head. If you've seen the episode, it's very funny. And we have subtitles. So if you haven't seen the episode, uh, here, there, here's what the joke is. Pretty great scene from The Office. I'm, I'm a big fan of The Office. So why do I have a problem with this? Why am I talking about it? Well, this account in particular only seems to post screenshots of those two shows that I mentioned, Friends and The Office, with the subtitles. So it's not their content, they're just taking funny moments from shows and putting them on the internet. But if you look on all of the pictures, they've watermarked it with their Instagram tag. Why do they feel the need to watermark this? As far as I know, they've done nothing to change this or alter this. The subtitles look like the Netflix subtitles that are there if you, if you check the little subtitles button. So they literally had to do no work to make this happen, I guess other than screenshot these two parts of the episode, which can only be so much work. <sighs> Honey, I'm home from another exhausting day at the office. You won't believe what they had me doing all day today. They just work you too hard, honey. You're telling me. They had me screenshot three separate episodes of The Office today. Wait, where are you getting bread from? And if that's not bad enough, they had me turn on the subtitles so people could see what they were saying. I wanted to just screenshot the pictures, but apparently nobody would get the joke or something. I'm telling you, Martha, the stress of working at the factory is really starting to get to me. So is that why you reek of booze and your knuckles are bleeding? I got into a fight with a wall. That kind of brings me to my main point, which is I don't understand why people follow these accounts. So you might be saying right now, Mikhail, why would you say that? Isn't The Office one of your favorite shows? We weird of you to be talking to yourself while watching this video. Did you did you pause it to say that, or are you just talking over me? Because if you're just gonna talk over me, don't just click off the video. You're missing you're missing stuff if you're talking while watching my videos. Anyway, the reason that I find this very dumb is because I like the show because. It's not just pictures. These pages really uh, play up the, not exactly nostalgia, but the, the appeal of when one watches the show, they can remember and say, oh, I remember, I remember this thing that when this happened on the, when they, when they did this, I remember that joke. It just, it doesn't make sense to me. If you want to laugh at The Office, go watch The Office. Why would you subscribe to these accounts? Now, I started with this specific account because it's relatively inoffensive. Other than, you know, the point I made about them just ripping stuff from the office and putting their watermark on it, they're not trying to sell anybody anything, they're not trying to promote anything else, it's just, hey, I'm a fan of the office and friends, here's some funny moments. But we are going to be looking at some more accounts that I think kind of creep into some more 
heinous territory. Now this account has 478,000 followers. Thousand with a T. It's called The Office Show with a little underscore. And let's take a look at their wonderfully creative bio. The Office Show parody. It's not... Do you know what parody means? I don't think you... That's not what this is. You're just stealing scenes from The Office. That's not a parody. Um, it's plagiarism. But anyway, moving on. Then, DM for business. And if you don't know what that means, that means that if you DM them for like a shout out or something, they will take your money in exchange for posting about your account. Or maybe they're selling drugs. I don't know. The point is, is that they're profiting off of this in some way. And then, if you go, if you go down a little bit further, they've got a sweatshirt you can buy. A Shroot Farms sweatshirt. They've got a little, a little store. The thing is, is that I've seen this sweatshirt on other accounts. They didn't make this design. This sweatshirt is $35. So let's take a look at the first clip that they've posted. Kelly Kapoor is gone. Her fiance, Ravi, was hired as a pediatrics professor at Miami University. I don't need him anymore. I am going to Miami, biatches, to hang with LeBron James and Gloria Stefan. Miami University in Ohio. Okay, so we got a little bit to unpack here. First of all, they have their watermark on this. So you might be thinking, hmm, that other person put subtitles on their post, so they did a little bit of work at least. What are they doing? Well, you might have noticed a little, little bit of text over this video, in fact, all of their videos. This one says, that's the wrong Miami. <laughs> do they think, do they think they're talking to her? Do you think that, do you think they think that, uh, that she's reading this? Because the show's like 10 years old. I don't think, I don't think, I think it's too late. I think she already has been bamboozled. This isn't gonna clue her in. This is gonna be the last one of their posts that we look at, but this is definitely the dumbest one of them all. Well, not of them all. We're only looking at the first couple. Of what we've looked at, this is definitely the worst one. It's an episode where Aaron, the receptionist for a bit in the office, uh, camps out to be the first in line at this company um, launch that they're doing for this iPad type thing. Rangers, so stoked for the Sabre store opening. She camped out to be the first in line. <laughs> I'm gonna be nice and be a good Samaritan, clear this up for them. Yes, she did camp out to be first in line. Good catch. I'm actually gonna DM them right now to find out what the business aspect of their account is. You know, if it's a shout out, and if so, how much it costs. And if they respond before I'm done editing this video, I'll throw that in so you guys can see uh, what scumbags they probably are. So if there's a screenshot, I'm going to throw it up right now. Wow, they really suck. Or maybe there's no screenshot there and I'm just talking to myself like an idiot. She wait, 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 come back, come back, come back. Uh, we're not, we're not quite done, we're not quite done with this account. They posted this edit of... Um, Jim from The Office. I need to stop saying what show it's from. Now, go ahead and take a look and see if anything sticks out to you guys. Come on, Jim. I got nothing. So the reason that I first realized that this wasn't their edit and it was somebody else's is because... They didn't bother to crop out or obscure the fact that they stole this from somebody. All of those little clues told me that this is somebody else's edit. Maybe tag the person that you took this from, because otherwise it seems like this is your content, which it's clearly not, because why would you screenshot your own thing, right? A person named Teheya Edits. They have 2,000 followers, but the reason that this stuck out to me more than anything is because in their bio, it says, don't repost my edits. This video has 96,000 views and a grand total of 12,000 likes. I want to take a little bit of a break from the mean stuff and do something a bit more lighthearted, something that I actually think is kind of cool. And this is a page called The Office Fails. They collect bloopers from The Office and post them. This, you know, this is at least something different than just the show that I can go and watch on Netflix. They do say DM for promotions in their bio. I DM'd them, and again, I'll let you guys know how much a promotion costs if they respond to me in time. This just in, The Office Fails, 
Yeah. They are scumbags. These people, I it I it's confirmed. I take back the uh, the good stuff I said about the idea. They suck. Thirty dollars for a twelve hour post. Forty dollars for a day long twenty four hour post. And for a week. It's going to be $250. And if you want both the post and story, for seven days, it's going to be $365. So naturally, I'm messaging back, that's an insane amount of money. All you do is take office bloopers and post them. Why do you feel you can profit so heavily from this? We'll see if they answer. They're probably just gonna block me. Sometimes I start a sentence and I don't know where it's going, but I just hope that I'll find it along the way. Do you get it? It's an office reference, dude. Because this video's about the office, but also because I do that a lot in my videos, so sometimes the way the sentences end is very confusing and my videos are very incoherent because of it. Man, with references like these, I could start an Instagram page and make tons of money from it. Anyway guys, so those are all of the Office uh, fan accounts that I wanted to talk about today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below for more videos like this. I'll have some new stuff coming out to you guys pretty soon. Sorry that it took me so long to get this video out. If you guys did enjoy the video, go ahead and comment down below. You are the dumbest YouTuber and I hope you die. Don't forget to smash that like button if you're a fan of The Office. And uh, I'll see all of you lovely little wizards in the next video. Goodbye. Roar. I've had this in the background for like a long time. And it's a nice little centerpiece. You know, it goes well with the lights. But I feel like it's getting a bit stale. Um, Kind of like that sandwich I ate earlier. So, geez, that was such a bad joke. Oh my god, I'm gonna... Mm. We're just gonna throw that over there. The next time in my next video, there's gonna be something different here. I don't know what yet, but I feel like I need to change things up a bit. Comment down below what you think I should put there, because I don't actually know. I've It's too late now. This is already in the video as I'm filming this. Somehow it got put in uh, while I filmed this. I don't know how, um, but I couldn't edit it out. When I'm editing this, it won't it won't go. It's like gotta be in the video. So there, I've already locked in, I've already committed, and now there's no way out. Again, I would have had more videos out, but I kept having to refilm it. And uh, just like eating an entire pizza by myself, I think this video was worth the wait. It's a news, you get it? Because that joke was very bad and it made me want to die. That's not a bad. <laughs> <laughs> Too much bad. <laughs>